Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. No, no, no. Here's what's going to happen. He is not ever going to win another tournament. I don't think we'll ever see Tiger Woods win the golf tournaments again. He's showing up at these tournaments uh, pretty much knowing that he's he's not going to be there. The short game is gone. His health is gone. The next press release Tiger Woods should release should be I'm retiring. I have considered him now for the last five, six years a former golfer. You're washed. Give up while you're ahead. Retire with some dignity. Tiger Woods that we all knew, he will never, ever be that guy again. Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I'm Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. What you just heard was a montage of jeers directed toward Tiger, Tiger Woods over the past few years concerning his career. These things came up because... They watched him since his fall from grace, try to get back into the world of golf. Okay. And rise high yet again. Yesterday, he got his fifth green coat. And that is what you get when you win the masters. The masters is every year, every spring in Augusta, Georgia. This man over the last 20 years has had an illustrious career until he being the human being that he is fell from grace. He lost his sponsorships and everything else. It is amazing now, though, how he will now see a surge. He's going to get more because I want to tell you all something about God. I can feel this one here. You see, when God brings you back up, nobody can take it from you. Because, see, he thought he was balling pre-drama and, you know, he was Tiger Wood, Tiger Woo. You know how they call him. (laughs) He was all this and all of that. All of these big time endorsements. But then he had a human error. And the world is not like human error because everybody's perfect and everybody's your judge. So him making a mistake was not okay for the world. Okay. Just so we're clear, since the world is his judge, he couldn't stand a chance. So not only did he fall from grace and not only did things go in a way that he wasn't expecting, but he pretty much lost credibility and people felt that they could take certain liberties and say that he was not going to be successful anymore in the world of golf. One of my favorites, I mean, there were so many favorites that people said, but I think one of my favorites was when the guy said, um, you know, I, you know, I've just been mentioning him for the last few years as a former golfer. I was like, man, that's sweet. Because you have literally obliterated this man's name. You have literally dragged him for filth. You have literally taken the name off of him that he earned and said he was a former golfer, okay? And now you've watched him become the best golfer in the world yet again. And for years, pay attention because I I got chills saying this, y'all. Please listen to me well. So many people are going to see the time when they thought you were falling from grace the time when they thought you were balling, but you didn't make it out and get it, get it on the level you thought you were going to get it. All of that is going to come to pass. All of that is going to come to pass in a way that you don't see coming. Because let me tell you something about God. When God gives you that sweet extra surprise, it is totally not in the fashion that you think. It supersedes what you're thinking. So for all of you who are in your Tiger Woods season right now, for all of you who are trying to pick yourself up and dust yourself off again, let me tell you something. Not only is it going to be amazing, okay? But beyond that, God is going to do doubly what he did for Tiger now than what he did before. And let me explain that to you. 
it is of much more value to give him a sponsorship. And is it a, it is of much more value for companies to put stake in him because he did have a fall from grace. See, when people know you're always going to deliver, that's one thing. But when people see you deliver and you literally get wiped off the platform completely, and then you're able to come back up and supersede what you did before, that's bankable to this world. That's bankable to people. But to God, even when he fell from grace, he was still bankable. He was still somebody he would put his money on. So this is what I say to you. You may not be in the space that you want to be in your life right now. But if you keep doing what you're doing and you get yourself up after you fall, y'all, you fall seven times, stand up eight. Please know something. If you are serious about staying the course and if you are serious about the redemption, if you are serious about God raising you up the way he wants to raise you up, if you are serious about saying, Lord, I repent, I ask forgiveness, I went astray, I'm back. Let's get me to where you really want me to be. If you're serious about that, you're going to be hitting me up about your Tiger Woods moment. So God bless you. Listen to that. Look at that video over and over and over again. Just as a reminder, you can put your name in a blank and you will see exactly what God is going to do. And it's funny. I want to give you a little exercise to do. When you listen to it, I want you to go back and change every sentence that they said to something positive. And you can craft it to your own life and speak it over yourself. Because what they don't realize is this. Every single sentence that they said about Tiger, the exact opposite happened. Thank you, haters. They helping you. On Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.